Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanamani456 here today, presenting to you all a new episode of Kobe Plays. And for this video, we are going to be trying out a 3DS game that you all voted for in the last episode of this series, which was actually kind of surprising because I thought the interest levels for this would be really, really low, but you all proved me wrong and it got a ton of votes. So anyway, here it is. Chibi Robo Ziplash for the 3DS. And yeah, this game has gotten kind of mixed reviews over the past month that it's been out, but want to try it for myself because I actually played it at E3. Couldn't show any footage then because they were like really against people posting uh, anything about this game, but I actually liked it. So I'm going to let you all see, uh, you know, what this game's all about and uh, I'll let you all know what I think. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. And by the way, if y'all are excited about seeing more Kobe plays, make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment, as it helps out tremendously, and I'll make sure to upload more parts of this series. And let me know in the comments below for question of the day, would you all like to see maybe a Kingdom Hearts game covered for the next episode of Kobe plays? Or maybe something else, like, uh, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, which I've mentioned numerous times as a vote option, but anyway, I'm gonna be quiet. All right, so we got ourselves a little CGI cutscene. That was pretty cool. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start this game and uh, start a new save file. So yeah, really excited about this. I think we're about to get another cutscene too. So probably gonna have to shut up again. Yep. Okay, so I guess we're going to 0-0, zero zero, the first uh, tutorial stage in this game. And we're in space, so this is actually pretty dope. Okay, oh dear, one moment, Chibi-Robo. Yeah, one thing that I've always loved about uh, this series is just the sense of charm it has. Like, you know, with the characters voice acting and all that stuff, it's just a little gibberish. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know, it's weird. But it has, like, this really, really cutesy charm to it. And, uh... This game is pretty much like a big part of my childhood. Well, not this game, but uh, the Chibi Robo series because um, the GameCube was one of the games, um, one of the systems I played a lot as a kid. And this game, or Chibi Robo, the original GameCube game was like something I absolutely enjoyed a ton because the first time I played that game, um, I was playing it at a at a GameStop and they had this like little demo station where you know You could play this and it was just like what the heck like what are you supposed to do here? You're supposed to play with a little tiny robot and you're supposed to pick up and clean stuff Which I thought was really really bizarre, but then when I actually played it for myself. I was like holy crap This is actually super amazing like <laughs> it's actually really really fun 
It's kind of like those Sims games, you know, like Sims and Harvest Moon, where you think, oh, farming. Yeah, definitely not going to do that in real life or something like that. Or I'm not going to try and have kids right now and be a dad and whatnot. But then uh, you play a game kind of like that, and then it just proves you wrong. It's like, dang, this is actually pretty enjoyable. So, yeah, it was kind of like one of those um, RPG games, kind of one of those Sims. And really fun now i don't know why people complain so much about this game because i've heard that um you know it's not like the original game or whatever so i kind of feel like people are criticizing um chibi robo ziplash because it's not wait hello wait a sec oh snap okay we extended the reach of our whiplash to 10 inches yo my boy is packing right now oh my god that stroke game <laughs> anyway though uh yeah look at that holy crap we got some crazy reach right now that is insane all right so chibi robo trying to hit it off well with the ladies already in the start but um what was i saying uh, oh yeah, so I think I feel like people are probably criticizing this game a lot because it's not up to par. Like, it's not like the other Chibi Robo games. You know, kind of like how the Sonic fan base is, where they're like, "Oh, it's terrible." If it's not exactly like you know a classic Sonic game or a modern Sonic game or whatever, if they add something different. If it, just because it's different, people think it's bad, which something I've always never really agreed with when people criticize a game or whatever. Instead of just you know, kind of looking to see, hey, is this game actually fun or whatever? Even if it does stray away from what we're known to play, like in the series or whatever. I don't know. But I feel like that's what it is. Because when I played this at E3, I had a lot of fun with it. It is definitely one of the more simpler platformers, but still enjoyed it. Okay, so we got ourselves a new world. We are going to Oceania. Oceania? How do you say this? Oh, because it's like ocean, Oceania. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to even bother. We're just going to go through this stage. We're going to play it and see what's up. But yeah, let me know in the comments below um, as well if you've ever played any game um, in this series. I would definitely rank the original one, the best one. Then there's Park Patrol, and then I, I never played the, like, Photo Finder, whatever that game was. But, yo, I'm the plug, dude. Really, I'm the plug. Really, I'm the plug. Okay, you can exit the chibi house using the hatch on the right. Hurry, sir. So, um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. But, um, anyway, for the next episode of Kobe Plays, also, another game that I could do as well, besides just Kingdom Hearts and Five Nights at Freddy's 4, is the original Chibi Robo, if you all would like to see that, because that's actually a game I've really, really, really wanted to cover for a long time on my channel, but I don't know. I, I just don't know if people are gonna be interested in it or not. But anyway, ready to get to work protecting Earth's resources, Chibi Robo? Let's give it everything we've got and send those thieving aliens packing. All right, let's do this, fam. So here we are starting off in 1-1. Uh, I believe this is what I actually played in the demo or whatever. But as you can see, Chibi Robo just whipping his whipping his plug all over the place, kind of like a black mom. Yo, this is actually actually pretty cool to kind of <laughs> this is this is black mom simulator. You know how you're always uh, doing cleaning and whatnot in the original Chibi Robo games, or like in Park Patrol, you're spraying enemies and whatnot. In this one, you're you're running around like a black mama. This is awesome. Hello? What the heck are you laughing at? What a bunch of douches. Okay, so right now we can't actually break those just yet because we just have not improved our whip game just yet. We gotta we gotta somehow figure out how to upgrade to a switch or whatever and do some real damage. But alright, so what the heck is this? Is this like trash or something? It looks like a ripped up tennis ball. Okay, tidying up trash, are you, sir? How very thoughtful. We can get rid of it properly when you return. Okay, so it's still, even though it is um, definitely a platformer, it still kind of keeps up with uh, what, you know, you're supposed to do in the Chibi Robo series, and that is cleaning up trash, all that stuff. So, that's pretty cool. But um, also another thing, let me know if uh, you all picked up this game or not, and not just for the amiibo, because you actually are interested in the series. Wait, what the heck is this? Okay. From now on, you can use... Oh, snap! All right, so now we've charged up and get ourselves uh, a nice, stronger attack. So we should be able to blast through this. Here we go, skadoosh! Yo, my boy is just breaking through walls. 
Okay, that's a blue boost ball. Collect as many of the... Okay, what's the point of collecting those? Okay, the fr Ah, nice! Okay. So that's what we use that for. Alright, I wonder if, uh, if I use the Zip Lash or whatever, does it, like, use more of my HP or what does it... Or, I'm sorry, use more of my battery or what does it do? Because, um, one thing I just noticed right now is that on the, uh, bottom... Wait, how do we do this? Oh, okay, okay, I think I know what we do here. Alright, so we need to bounce... Wait, hello? Oh, okay, 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 that's how we do it. I, I know for a fact that you're actually able to uh, kind of ricochet the zip lash so that you can um, reach different uh, pathways or whatever. It's kind of cool, but um, yeah, for some reason there, it won't let me do it. By the way, this music is amazing. Got that little like robotic sound to it and whatnot. Oh, here we go, here we go, okay. So what we need to do is go ahead and take these out quick. I'm gonna go ahead and collect these uh, blue balls. All right, what the heck is this? Yo, we got ourselves like a lick. What the heck? We actually, it actually has a Tootsie Roll pop right there. Wonder if they actually had to deal with like any copyright problems for that, but yo, got ourselves a nice lollipop. Those greedy aliens stealing snacks now too. I bet they have more stashed away. We've got to find those snacks. Okay, so they're just, they're just looting everything. They're looting all those all those, uh, what is it, Netflix and chill meals, so we gotta, we gotta stop these people right now. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and aim up there. Now we can go on to the exit. Put that plug in, boy. Wait, hello? Okay, so we got ourselves some gyroscope controls. I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. Yo, those dudes remind me of something so much. I don't know what it is. Oh, checkpoint. Okay, what is this? What the heck is this? Oh, we can buy stuff! Okay, so we got ourselves an emergency jet, a spare battery, but we definitely don't have enough racks just yet, so we gotta... Gotta keep on, um, just... chilling for now, I guess. Wow, we definitely don't have enough range for that just yet. Okay. There we go. Playing with the circle pad, though, definitely makes it a little bit more difficult to actually, uh, be precise with your aim game. But all right, so now we need to collect this dude here. What the heck? Hello? Get inside me, dude. <laughs> all right, so we got a ton of these guys to actually catch. But um, I played the original, uh, what is it? The original and Park Patrol. And Park Patrol was kind of fun. There were some things I didn't really like about it. I, I don't know. I guess it was just... It was a little bit different from the uh, original, and there was just something about it. Something that I didn't really enjoy as much with um, with the original or whatever, but... I, w I wouldn't say it's a bad game or anything like that. It was definitely more faithful to the series than uh, this game is. But, uh... You know. I just never actually really did finish that game. It kind of got a lot... Uh, um, it kind of got a little bit difficult, too, because there was, like, um, a really, really... Uh, high difficulty spike later on when you'd start to uh, wait hello what the heck is this Wow okay so we're locked up in here right now all we got to do is just practice our uh, you know our uh, little zip lash right there now we can progress onward but uh this it there were like those little like flower aliens or whatever that would um, attack you and whatnot and they would take out your flowers which you had to protect in that game. And that was something that uh, got definitely really, really hectic later on um, as you progressed onward. Like, it got really, really bad at some point. Okay, no, did not mean that. Yo, what the heck? That was like bouncing crazy all over the place. There we go. Nice. For some reason, though, this game keeps reminding me of something, but I really have... I, I can't recall what it is, but there's some platforming game that this feels so similar to, but I just can't put my finger on it. These guys actually kind of remind me of those little blue things from Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. I don't know why. They, they look like a robotic looking thing of them. Alright, go ahead and aim there. Nice. And I think I can just use my regular plug there. What the heck, hello? 
the heck is this? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what, wait, are they just changing us on a different plane instead? But no, that's actually they're just teasing us a little bit there. Alright, now we're in a different area. Let's get back to business. That checkpoint. Yo, what the heck is this dude? What the heck? <laughs> Yo, Chibi Robo with that butt plug right now. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess they have walls around here so that you can uh, charge up if you need to. Get on that full green uh, Apple battery. Not bad. It would be so awesome if they actually had like a real life thing like Chibi Robo to where you could just clean up all over the place and whatnot. Like that would be the best thing ever. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure no one in real life wants to actually clean up and all that stuff. I mean, that's just something no one really wants to do. I'm not going to lie. At one point, I actually was, like, kind of like a clean freak or whatever until I started getting into gym and whatnot. And then that's when everything with that just changed. Okay, now, I feel like, uh, can't you, like, here we go. Okay. Well, I was trying to hover there and see if I can, like, make it over, but that's apparently not the case. Uh, what the heck is this? What the heck? Yo, that's slow down there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Bounce... Where should we bounce it? Like, right... Okay, I need to get this just right. Almost! Wow, what the heck? Okay. Actually, I'll just get up here and do it like this. Yo, okay. A little secret collectible there. All right, now let's do this. Okay. I'm just gonna ricochet this and... Wow, what the heck? Why can I not get this right now? There we go, hey! All right, so that's how we do that. Now, if I can, uh, how long can I hover here? How long can I hover? Come on, come on. Come on, dude. Are you serious right now? Okay, so he har he doesn't have too much range there. He does not have too much range when it comes to his gliding. But you know what? We're just going to go ahead and zip lash over here instead of uh, doing it the other way. Okay, so definitely use the D-pad. That's a lot better. Hello? Get back here. <laughs> this dude trying to run away. Um, definitely use the uh, D-pad because uh, it's a lot better for being more accurate with that. Okay, we got ourselves some, like, Donkey Kong Temple here. What the heck is this all about? Do I have to, like... Okay, I have no idea what that is. I guess we'll just continue on here. Blip. Can I make this? Can I make it this time? Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> just barely clutched it there. Kill these guys quick. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized that's a bombless pit. God dang it. <laughs> wow, wait, I'm all the way back here. That's all I had to do. Why, why am I just so stupid? <laughs> here I was thinking that there was something beneath me or whatever, but that was definitely not the case. All right. Put that plug in, boy. Give it a nice twist. All right, what the heck is this? Hello? Hello? That's it? Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I know what that is. Okay, so when you actually, um, I guess what it is, is when you actually, uh, like you can target above to get something higher than, uh, that bronze. That's what it is with the UFO or whatever. It's kind of like, um, what's that one game? I can't recall, but basically we have to time our uh, aim just right so that we can uh, reach the top UFO. At least that's what I'm assuming. All right, time to get in that big body suburban. And now it's time to get going. I bet we'll find more aliens to chase off all over the place. Okay, so we got ourselves a destination wheel. Let's select our next... What the heck? Wow! 
See here, okay, that's that's what that thing was. Oh my god. What? Wait, why does it say buy panels? We can actually buy a panel? Oh! I see. Yo, this is actually kind of lame. So, I did hear about this being a huge complaint about the game. Um, when you spin this wheel or whatever... Okay, okay, please don't make me... Oh, thank God! Okay, so we're going to the second stage. Or, wait, what? What does this do? Oh my god. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, this is basically like Monopoly. <laughs> this is like Monopoly with uh, Chibi Robo. Now, I've heard a lot of complaints about this because it's not a typical progression style to where, you know, after you beat one stage, you go to the next stage, obviously, or whatever. Instead, you go on the destination wheel where... It'll choose the next area for you to go. Like, it's not in a specific order. So, because I got, uh, what is it? Since I got two, now I'm going to 1-3 instead of going to, uh, 1-2. It, it, it's really weird. I, I don't know, but I've heard a lot of people complain about it. I can see why, because I think another thing, too, is that once you do that, you have to replay a stage. Even, like, if you re-land on the stage that you've already played, you have to replay that stage. So it gets really, really tedious and monotonous um, when you have to keep doing that or whatever. But, yo, this stage is actually looking pretty clean right now. It's definitely a lot more colorful than the last one. So... Might as well just fool around here. But that, that progression system is actually really stupid. I don't know why the heck they thought to do that. Alright. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so that's basically... There's so many Mario references here. Like, you can just look at this and it's just like... Yeah, that definitely reminds you of Mario or whatever. But, yeah. So we got ourselves like a question block there with coins or whatever, kind of. Okay, what the heck is this? Hello? Yo, it's lit! It is lit right now, people. What is going on? Huh? Are you serious right now? Oh my god. We're that we're that flaming plug right now. Oh, and right when that happened, that just really dude. Okay, you know what? I'ma go back. <laughs> I'ma go back and charge up again and go through this. Cause that was actually pretty dope. Oh my god. Okay, so that plug there basically sets us on fire, and we can just burn through everything. That was actually pretty dope. Plus, I think we actually got a speed boost, too. Alright, get that full charge. Let's go. What the heck? Okay, okay, are we gonna actually make it this time around? Let's go, let's go, let's go! What the heck was that? Oh, okay, so we press the R button to do a somersault. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. This dude's trying to roll around like Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, go ahead and hit that. Give ourselves that extra little bonus. What the heck? Four inches? Is that what we grew in size right now? Okay, pick this up. Well, that's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing or whatever. Um, you know, I have played, like I said, the demo or whatever, but they didn't really have that showcasing the demo, so... Kind of cool to see that there's something else uh, that it didn't actually show off. But yeah, I can definitely see why some people um, may think that this one is... This platformer is a lot simpler than most because it definitely does seem like something targeted towards a younger audience, definitely. I don't know. I've always felt that with Chibi-Robo, too. It had that cutesy kind of vibe that was targeted towards children, so I can see why some people are like, eh, this game, you know, it kind of gets a little bit boring over time, because, yeah, this is definitely one of the more difficult games to commentate right now. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you all already knew that. You all could tell. But it's still fun. It's just that, you know, you kind of... Oh, okay, definitely getting a spare battery, because why not? <clears throat> Yo, I always get these whenever I go on a, a plane. Need as many of those as possible. What the heck? Hello? Boy? Okay. Oh, I know. Okay, okay, I think I know what we need to do here. We need to hit one of those plugs or whatever. Yo, this is... Okay, so see here? This is a perfect representation of when a black mom tries to hit their kid when they get, like, 
past the teenage years. See there, they get all hard bodied. You just can't do anything. <laughs> Yo, that's when the black mom just decides, you know, you know, instead of using that, I'll use a pan if I need to. Or, sh yeah, a, a flaming hot pan. <laughs> just melt us. <laughs> that's actually crazy. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back up here, shall we? Okay, wow, what the heck? I'm actually really stupid. There we go. <laughs> Yo, I'm failing at geometry right now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, making myself look too smart, am I? All right, let's run through this. What the heck? This is actually ridiculous. Okay. Can I get up there, please? Thank you. No, 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 Wow. All right. Now that, uh... We kind of got off our high there. Now, is there, okay. I don't know what the heck that those like temple looking things are for. I'm guessing if you collect everything or whatever, you can progress onward. Oh my God. What the heck? <laughs> Yo, these things are trying to get the drop on me. All right, nice. What the heck is this? It's like a portal. Oh yeah, the the main uh, hub area that we're in though definitely reminds me of uh, Metroid Other M. Yo, I should probably do that for Kobe Plays, like a Metroid Prime game or Metroid Other M. What the heck, why is JJ the Jet Plane in here? JJ the Jet Plane, that's me, dude! <laughs> hey, who are you? Yo, I'm Chibi Robo, I'm that Kobe Robo right now. Okay, you're an alien, hello? Wait, why did I press check mark? Okay, good. <laughs> I was about to say, wait, 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 is this dude about to, is this dude about to swoosh right in on me because I said I'm a, hello, Toby? Okay. So we got ourselves Kobe Robo and we got Toby the jet plane. All right, snack time? Already ate all of his snacks. Okay. Okay, so we gotta find important cargo or whatever right now? Hello? What the heck is this? Oh yeah, wait, 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 we do! I completely forgot, we do have that Tootsie Pop. Okay, there it is, right there. Yo, dude. This dude's about to do that sucky sucky. Right on this, right on the top of that pop. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my god, they always had these animals in them who were eating these lollipops. They'd want to find out how many licks it takes to get to the middle. Oh my god, this game is definitely like childhood for sure. What the heck? <laughs> Yo, he's in love with this stuff. Like seriously, I, I, I'm just getting reminded of how I played this game as a kid. Freaking JJ the Jet Plane on PBS Kids, that was... That was one other show that I watched all the time, and then Tootsie Pops? Yeah, I remember those too. Okay. Pocky Chocolate? Got that ground crewman, Chibi Robo? Hurry and find that important cargo. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. What the heck? <laughs> that plane was doing loop-the-loops and everything. Okay. Here we go. Time to... Take these guys out. Wait, is that some scrap metal? What the heck? I completely forgot that was a thing in Chibi Robo, scrap metal. It's been so long since I've played that game. I, I, I really, really need to do that for like a Kobe Plays. So like I've always said, make sure to vote down below so that uh, I can have a good idea of what you all would like to see on the channel. That's why I've always been like, you know, drop a like if you enjoy this series or enjoy a video and all that stuff because it really, really helps out so I can figure out what exactly you all do want to see and whatnot. Because like DBZ Xenoverse did so well in votes and whatnot, like votes and likes. And I was just like, holy crap, okay. Well, that gives me a really, really good idea of what I need to do because, hello? What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Oh my god, okay, grab every coin. What the heck? Oh my god. No, 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 no! Okay, so this looks kind of interesting. Alright, so... I'm guessing we... Okay, 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 okay. Can I... 
Nice. All right, so this is how that works. Well, we definitely were a little bit too slow on actually figuring out what to do here, but, you know, it's not that bad. At least I kind of have an idea. So this is like one of those little mini room games or whatever. Kind of like Donkey Kong, you gotta get all the bananas in order to, um, in order to get, uh, what is it, like a Kong letter or some crap like that? All right, checkpoint. All right, it's time to filet mignon this butt plug, dude. Oh, snap! The most tender part of... Most tender part of Chibi Robo, that plug. Really on the plug, really on the plug. All right, let's go. What the heck? So this is definitely my favorite power up for this little, uh, this little nugget. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, scrap metal, again. Definitely my favorite uh, power up that they have for this character. All right, so we gotta twist this once again. Are we nearing the end, or...? Yup! Okay. So we're gonna do this right here, alright? Okay, let's see. How am I going to time this? I'm gonna time this. Oh my god! Oh man. Huh? Wait, we have a limited amount of uses? There we go. Huh?! Wow, I got robbed! I actually got robbed! I hate the world and everything. I, I hate I hate the world. I'ma join these UFOs right now. We're gonna take over, dude. <laughs> Are you serious? So because I took too long, they disappear over time. Wow. Here I was just trying to, you know, be all precise, but no, they just want you to kind of rush in with your plug, dude. Don't even worry about this. Do that pinwheel life. But all right, so there we go, that's 1-3. And I think we're pretty much done with this video. You know, just kind of a little showcase to let you all see what this platformer is all about. Um, if you have not picked it up, definitely see uh, if this video, like, you know, if this video did actually help you decide. You know, would really love the feedback down below. And uh, I actually want to see what this Chibi Robo Amiibo does. Like, wouldn't that be amazing if he was actually added to Smash Bros and the Shibi Robo Amiibo actually lets you uh, play him or whatever. I know that's not the case right now. You know, it kind of gives you an extra world or whatever in this game. And I think you can use it in some other game or whatever. But yeah, it is a pretty dope looking Amiibo. Definitely one of the best made ones, I think, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. So thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, if you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like and a comment. Make sure to answer the uh, question of the day. Which game would you like to see for uh, the next week's episode of Kobe Plays? Yes, I know this is a day late. Uh, Kobe Plays, by the way, is going up on Saturdays for now on, in case you all didn't know. Because uh, aside of that, I felt like it would just, you know, more people would actually watch it than watching it on a Thursday or whatever. But uh, yeah, let me know if you all would like to see um chibi robo the original gamecube version five nights at freddy's 4 with face cam or maybe a kingdom hearts game i'm thinking maybe like 2.5 hd something like that we'll just kind of try out a random kingdom hearts game and see what that's all about but uh anyway thanks again for watching see you all have a good day peace republic of kobanamites and take care